In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the clinometer on a Sunto compass. Now, clinometer measures slopes or angles, and it's something you may use in a wilderness area. I rarely use it. Individuals that use a clinometer are individuals that are uh, working in the forestry industry, surveyors, meteorologists, and sometimes even hunters may use this to get trajectories on angles when they're making a shot utilizing a rifle or a bow and arrow. So let me give you a close-up of the clinometer and how to utilize it on the Sunto compass. So here you have my Sunto compass. Now when we're looking at this compass, that black needle is what you're going to use to get the slope or the angle. That black needle is weighted and it's always pointing down. And it's going to utilize this red scale here. That same scale is used for magnetic declination when you turn the compass over. So whatever that needle is pointing to, that's going to be the slope or the angle. But now it's important to also to get the compass set up properly. Before you look at the scale, make sure that you get the west, east-west line there should be parallel, which means that you want to get the west lined up with that index marker here on the compass. So make sure that the west is lined up there. And when you're ready to get the angle there, be able to use this black weighted arrow with that red scale. And let me show you how to get the angle. So the easiest way to get the angle is to place this compass on whatever you want to get the slope on. So if this stick is a slope, we place it on there. And then you look at the black needle and on what number it's pointing on on that red scale. But now that's probably not gonna be the case in many situations. So you're gonna fold the mirror over and you're gonna look in the mirror and you're gonna be able to see when you're looking in that mirror what that black arrow is pointing to. So you're gonna to look to the light. Now there's a little sight hole here, right there, that you're gonna go ahead and if you're looking at a tree, you're going to go ahead and look at that sight hole and get to the top of that tree. And then you're going to look into the mirror and see where the arrow is pointing to on that red scale. And that'll give you what the slope is. Again, it's a function that many of you may not use, but now you know how to use it if you need to get the slope or an angle of an object when you're in a wilderness area. 